up to freak guys if you are a tool nut like me today's video is for you in this video i'm going to be taking a look at the five best torque wrenches i've tied up this list based on my personal preference and also team wise i also preset i've listed them based on their popularity quality durability price and manufacturer reputation also i've included options for every type of customer so if you're looking for an entry level option or the best product for the money we'll have the product for you for more information and updated pricing are needed please be sure to check the mentioned links in the description below Famous tool makes videos for tool enthusiasts and tool nuts and a different tools and gears every day. So if you are a tool freak, please like, comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for further tools videos. Now let's get started with the video. The number one position is dominating by CDI Snap on Top Ranch. The 2503 MFR PH is a premium model from CDI, one of the Snap-on's industrial brands. The CDI 1503 MFR PH is another top wrench in the same product lineup. Why is this important? Interestingly, although both models cost the same, they have vastly different torque ranges. The 2503 stock range is 30 to 250 feet per pound, and the 1503 stock range is 20 to 150 feet per pound. How come the one with greater torque range costs more than the one with a lesser torque range? Well, it is because the product's price tag reflects the product's high-quality design, astonishing accuracy, and robust construction. If you want to splurge and go all out, this is where you put the money. If you're looking for the best torque wrench for lug nuts, buy the CDI 2503 MFR PH. And if you want a general-purpose torque wrench, buy the CDI 1503 MFR PH. However, a typical home mechanic may not have the budget to purchase these industrial-grade torque wrenches, but home users don't put their torque wrenches through hours of rigor every day, so they can let durability factor slide a little bit for the sake of economy. For such a user, there are high-quality affordable brands such as Tecton 24325. Moving on to the next, at number 2, we have Tecton 24335 torque wrench. The CDI 2503 and 1503 are more durable, accurate and functional than the Tecton 24335. But if you think which is the best for the money, the Tecton 24335 outshines the 2503 and 1503 in budget friendliness. Tecton's clever pricing, thoughtful design and attention to quality have made the 24235 the most attractive talk rent for people working in a non-industrial setup. So it's no surprise that the 24335 is a bestseller on Amazon, but let me quickly walk you through what's you're missing. The Tecton 24335 has a torque range of 10 to 150 feet per pound. This torque range is comparable to the CDI 1503's torque range, but it doesn't even come close to beating the CDI 2503's torque range. The 24335 is 1% less accurate than the CDI tools and can measure torque only in clockwise direction. If you can live with these compromises, you can save around a hundred dollars. Plus, Tecton warranties the 24325 for life against material and craftsmanship defects. Considering all this, I would confidently recommend this product to anyone who is out to buy their first tower wrench. Number two position is holding by SC Delco ARM6014. SC Delco ARM6014 is an electronic torque wrench. Unlike mechanical products, which measures torque mechanically, the electronic model uses a strain gauge to measure torque. Since the digital screen displays the applied torque in real time, electronic models are ideal for making high precision torque adjustments. An electronic torque wrench can also alert you when you reach a preset torque. But both electronic torque wrenches and mechanical ones have their share of shoddy products on the market. So if you are buying an electronic torque wrench, Buy the AC Delco IRM6014. It's the best digital torque wrench available right now, with an error of margin of plus minus 2% clockwise and plus minus 3% counterclockwise. The ARM6014 is more accurate than our top pick. However, its torque range of 3 to 99 feet per pound is vastly inferior to its mechanical torque wrenches in the sample price bracket. This is a general trend. With a given torque range, electronic torque wrenches are more expensive than mechanical ones. You must not see this as a problem unique to the ARM6014. In summary, to price accuracy and real-time feedback to torque range, this is the torque range you must buy. Next at number 4, we have Capri Tools 31000 torque wrench. So far, all the torque wrenches we've discussed have half-inch drives. The Capri Tools 31000 has a 3/8-inch drive. How does this make a difference? First, 31000 is more compact than all the other torque wrenches on our list. Its compactness grants easy access to hard-to-reach areas. In addition to being compact, the 
G1000 has NISD calibration certification, plus minus 4 margin for error, precision made parts, clever design, and durable construction. The downside is that the G1000 has the narrowest torque range among the products we've reviewed here. With a torque range of 10 to 80 feet pounds, this torque range is best suited for small size fasteners. Now, this is not a bad thing. You see, generally, engineers place heavy duty fasteners in easily accessible locations. They use relatively smaller fasteners in areas that are difficult to access. Big talk ranges cannot reach these spots. So the 31000 plays a critical role in your workshop. Although I wouldn't recommend this talk wrench to people who have never owned a talk wrench, I would suggest buying the 31000 shortly after buying their first talk wrench. It's not that expensive and it does a great job at what it is designed for. Finally, at number 5 of Nako Pro 03709B Torque Wrench. I realize that although the CDI 2503 provides an impressive torque range, its price tag is downright intimidating, so I've included the Nako Pro 03709B on this list. This mechanical torque wrench operates within a range of 50 to 250 feet per pound. It has an accuracy of plus minus 4%. It is made of durable material and has a robust design. It is budget-friendly alternative to the industrial-grade CDI 2503. However, I have two problems with the Nako Pro 03709B. First, the torque wrench is 25 inches long. Second, it weighs 6 pounds. Clearly, this is a very bulky unit. You could use it to tighten lug nuts, but you may struggle with suspension bolts, and the tilt dimensions and weight creates accessibility issues. Before you go for this torque wrench, I suggest that you read your car's manual to study the torque settings for all the critical fasteners on your car. Among the torque settings, identify the bolts that need the maximum torque. If this value lies above 120 feet per pound, you may need a heavy-duty torque wrench like the Nako Pro 03709B.